Hey everyone, in today's video I will be talking about the iCloud bypassing and is it real, does it work, um, stuff like that. Uh, before I even get started with the video, uh, all those videos you see on YouTube talking about the emoji method or those websites that talk about just give me the IMEI, uh, may take about two hours and I can unlock it. Do not trust those uh, websites. Those are all scams, especially the ones on Instagram, especially they claim that you can do iCloud unlocking, which is the IMEI. Do not trust none of those. Those are scams. They basically got fake followers and stuff like that. So don't trust none of those websites. So these are like the B, the not B, the basic, the super basic um, like methods I have for iCloud unlocking. So the first, first one um, that's really like, you guys already know is the passcode method so for example um so say for example you get an iphone and you buy it on ebay um you buy on offer up or whatever and it has a passcode sometimes you can check the imei number from the back or the sim card tray and if you can go to like iunlocker.net and they have an imei checker if the imei is off and you factory reset this phone, there's no iCloud. If the um, if I'm iPhone says on, there's an iCloud account on it, so it'll be iCloud locked. But if it's find my iPhone off, you just hit the jackpot. Especially if it's a high end phone, like an iPhone seven or higher, or any phone basically. But um, yeah, so that's like the first method. That's co I basically call that the uh, passcode method. Um, it has a passcode. You reset it and it has no iCloud. So that's pretty awesome. Now, um, the second method. So the second method is basically, um, you have you get an iPhone, but it has someone's iCloud account on it. So I'll just put all zeros, because that's what it is. Um, so say for example, you get an iPhone, but it has someone's iCloud. So for example, my iCloud's right here. But say if like there's someone else's and you don't know it, you're able to download apps, you know, stuff like that. But you want to put your own iCloud. Now, this on this is a 50-50 chance of it working, but it's really awesome for those people who actually like you know this will work for. So basically, say if you have the iCloud in here, you click on the profile, and um, in order for this to work, make sure um to have a passcode on the phone. Even though the phone didn't come with a passcode, put your own passcode. And once you put your own passcode, click on the profile. So click on the profile. And you're going to click on password and security. And like I said, this is a 50-50 chance of working. So the other the other 50% chance of not working, they'll you'll click on it and then it'll ask for the um, password for the iCloud. So it didn't work for you. But for the other people, when you click on it, um, that usually that usually pop up for like the other people um, that it didn't work for. But let me put that in real quick. I'll show you the other way, um, like the other 50%. So yeah, when usually the other 50%, it'll just ask for a passcode or it'll just go right through. And then you'll just, you just press on change password and then it'll let you change the password. Um, usually this doesn't pop up, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. And that's basically the second method. Um, it worked 90% of the time for me for all the iPhones I had with an iCloud account on it. But um, yeah, that's the second method. And then the third method. Um, oh, the receipt method. Now this one, this one's really out there for those people who are really friends with a certain carrier. So say for example, you're friends with a manager with AT&T or Boost or Verizon. Say if you're really friends with them, you know them, um, they can actually print you out approval of receipt. Now, the full details for this, I'm not really 100% correct, but I do know is, say for example, you get an iPhone, it's activation locked. It has the original SIM in the iPhone. Say the original SIM was Verizon, and you're friends with the Verizon manager. You can actually go to the manager and say, hey, can you print me out approval of receipt? The manager can actually print you out, uh, I believe he can print you out a fake or a like legit approval of receipt, and in the proof of receipt, you can actually take the Apple and Apple will actually remove the iCloud. So I think, I think that was really, really awesome. 
but yeah, that's really the basic, um, the three basic methods I use. Um, like, you know, the third method, the one with the receipt, um, I can't really remember if I've done that because I am friends with a boost, uh, manager, like a boost mobile manager. Um, he said it was fine. So, um, I am trying to be friends with like other managers. So just in case I get, I call lock phones locked to a carrier. But, uh, yeah, if you guys do have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I do try my best to answer every question. Um, I do get a lot of people, um, you know, like asking me questions, uh, but yeah, just hit me up. I'll try to keep being active on Instagram. It's just because usually I'm at school and I'm like taking notes and stuff and people will text me, but that's fine. I'm just like, you know, letting you guys know if I don't respond or I see your messages and stuff, just like know that like I'm going to get back to you. I don't want to look, make it look like I was ignoring you guys. But uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy and peace out.